Hi guys, today I wanted to share with you my inserts from my Foxy Fix Midori that is from Etsy. This is a traveler's notebook and again the company name is Foxy Fix. I will link that below. They are faux dories or imitation Midoris styled after the original traveler's notebook which is the Midori. This one here is the nautical with extra room. It's a regular with extra room so it's slightly bigger than your average Midori and it is gorgeous. It's made of real leather and again this is a nautical. I had an octopus stamp put on and a little wheel or a ship wheel. Really love that. The reason why I purchased this is because my husband and I have a lake house and we go once a year in June and I wanted a place to collectively house all of our memories from those trips. So I chose to do it this way and I'm really happy that I did. The owners of the company are Jordan and Kelly. I totally love them. They are amazing and awesome and provide the best customer service. So if you have not checked out their shop, definitely do so. They have gorgeous traveler's notebooks. And again, I will link that below. Now I did do another video where I actually showed the setup of the inside of that. I'll link that video as well. And that was just how I put it together. So I'm going to skip that part because that video shows all the details on that. Today we're going to just focus on the inserts. So this is the first insert. I'm going to remove it and we're going to take a closer look at it. Okay guys, here is the first insert. I love how this came out. The papers that I used to decorate this are from the Ahoy There Cartabella paper collection. Totally fun, bright summer nautical colors. A total must have if you're doing a nautical look. Love how this came out. My idea for this insert is every year we go on a lake vacation and we take boat trips. So every year when we go, I'm going to be adding into this insert and take it with me each year. And I'm like so thrilled to have come up with that idea because I wanted an idea of how to, um, you know, keep memories from that trip. And sometimes it's hard if you don't have time to do a scrapbook page or if you don't have time to do a project life page, you can do something as simple as entering some small few simple memories inside of your traveler's notebook. And it's just the perfect little solution when you want something like that. Now this insert here is from Yellow Paper House. I love them because they come with craft paper and you can decorate them how you like. Yellow Paper House is also on Etsy so I'm going to link them below. This is just a paper clip that I made from my stash. I had this really cute water flare button and this paper clip is from Hobby Lobby. So let's open it up and we will look at the first page. I love how this came out. The first thing that you're going to see on here is this forecast stamp. It's from Waffle Flower. Love that. I did stamp that out. For stamping purposes, I use the Prima Marketing chalk inks. I have the set of 40. I purchased mine on Frantic Stamper and I'll link that below. And this case is from Art Bin. I purchased this at Joann's. So if you have this collection, I highly recommend this bin. It's really easy to store all the inks in this container and travel with it. Love it. Okay, next I use some ephemera pieces. The ephemera pieces come from the Pink Paisley uh, Solstice Collection. Totally cool ephemera in this pack. Totally love it. And what's nice about them is some of them are on clear acetate. And I'll show you those right here. Oh, they really decorate your pages really nicely. They're just that perfect touch to add that's a little different than your everyday ephemera pieces. So I really like that. This here that says Sun, Fun, and Laughter is from Chic Tags, the Let's Go collection. I use both the journaling tags and the embellishments, and I love both of them. They matched up really, really nicely with this spread. Okay, and then this Remember sticker here is from uh, me. Um, actually, that is from the DIY collection from Simple Stories. I love this collection. These stickers are so fun. They're super bright, and that's DIY from Simple Stories really fun. If you're looking for just a different type of sticker to add into your layouts, I would definitely highly recommend these. These are fun and cool and I love them. And here are just some pictures that I took from that day. This one here, I just wanted to document that my Foxy Fix had come on the cruise with us. And this overlay sticker is from me and my big ideas. 
really love to do that when I have a lot of open space on a photo. Now this washi tape here is fast becoming one of my favorites. It's from the dollar spot at Joann's. I totally love it. I just love the colors and the scallop uh, design on it really makes me feel like nautical summery kind of washi tape. So I really highly recommend that. Now before we go on any further, in case you guys are wondering about my crazy, crazy, crazy nails, I want to show you what that is because I'm sure somebody will want to ask me. The first one is the base coat is Milani 3D Holographic M510. You can find this in um, most of your drug stores. I believe you can even find it on their online site at Milani. This one here is a little harder to find. It's by Winsicle Nail Polish by Pam, which is a homemade nail polish. She does have a website. The only thing is I do not know if Superhero is still available. I purchased this quite a long time ago, but it's super, super fun. So I just wanted to show you guys that in case you wanted to know about my nail polish. And that was the first page. Really fun picture of me and my husband when we first got on our cruise. Okay, then on to the next page. I continued with the same scrapbook papers from Ahoy there. This is another Chic Tags journaling tag. I just trimmed it down. This is from the Let's Go Chic Tags collection as well. Really fun. There's a stamp here in the top corner. It says equals awesome. And I wanted to show you that as well. It's from Gossamer Blue. Now this comes in a limited edition Project Life kit that I receive every month. So I'm sorry guys, I don't think the set is still available. But this one is. This one here says it's happy hour. And for those of you that follow me, you will know they are from my, one of my favorite stamp companies, which is Paper Smooches. It is the Get Out of Town stamp set and it is right here. I totally love the stamp set. It's so fun if you travel, if you go on vacation a lot. It has the suitcases, the little stamp, the airplane. Really, really fun designs on this for vacation. So I wanted to add that in because we were having some cocktails on our cruise and I thought it would be really fun. So I love how this page turned out. Let's turn to the next page. This next page is just some random pictures of my husband and I really fun. I continued with the same background papers from Cartabella. I added some Project Life cards here and some of the fun stickers that I have here. This is the story. This one is really cute. It's from Pocket Pages for me and my big ideas. I love these stickers. They're gorgeous. They're on clear plastic. Some of them have sparkle, some of them don't, but the colors are really really fun and I suggest this sticker set as well. Now here is that Joann's Dollar Washi again but here is another one that's from the Do Joann's Dollar Bin. It's the teal and white stripe one. I love that one as well. It's a thin washi and I'm just totally in love with it. I just keep using it over and over again. And actually I believe that one's from the Hobby Lobby not from Joann's. It's the new three washi sets that been recently coming out at Hobby Lobby, but it's not one of the dollar ones, but it's really cute as well. And I have been overusing it like crazy. I love it. <laughs> so that was this page here. We're going to move on to the final page. This one here, I have more of the ephemera pieces from the Solstice collection. And just that, so that you can see, I keep this little um, piece of paper that comes with the ephemera pack. And as I use the different pieces, I cross them out. So this way, when I go to do a spread and I'm looking for something specific, I don't look for something that I've already used. So that's just a little tip and I put it in a Ziploc bag so it's easy to access. Here are just some random pictures that I took on our cruise. I love this one here because we never get to go under the bridge at the lake. This is a different cruise than we normally take. This one was Celebrations. So I really liked it this year. And I think we're going to do this same one next year. I'm not 100% sure. Here is another um, 
journaling tag from Chic Tags, the Let's Go collection. And this one picture here was really fun. This is like a million dollar home that's being built at the lake and it's under construction. I took a picture of it because I figured next year when we go back and we take this cruise again, I want to take another picture of this house and by then it should be completed. So I thought that was really cute. This white and red washi tape that runs right down here is from Michaels. Totally love that. The uh, six washi tape collection um, that comes in the plastic tube at Michael's. Totally, totally love that. And here's that Hobby Lobby washi tape again on the left. And that is the last one for this insert for this year. So that was 2015. Now there is plenty more room left in this insert for next year and years to come. So I figure every time we go down to the lake and we take a cruise, I'm going to add it into this book. So I really love how that came out. Let's go on to the next insert. Okay, this is my second insert and this booklet is also from Yellow Paper House. Again, it came plain with the craft paper and I decorated it myself. I think this is my favorite insert in this uh, Foxy Fix because it's just, I'm a big, huge foodie. I always have been and I wanted to a place to record all the places that we eat when we go down at the lake. A lot of them are old favorites and every year there's always a new place that opens up. So I figured it'd be fun to keep all of our food memories in one spot. This paper clip here I just created myself with some ribbon that I had on hand and this anchor paper clip is from Hobby Lobby and I love this stamp right here. It says where we ate, what we drank, we ate this and I thought it was so fun and perfect for a foodie insert. So we're going to open this up. The first thing that I have here on the left is McDonald's. Now I am not a big McDonald's person. I do not currently eat McDonald's. Definitely not. I just finished doing a Whole30 and for those of you that follow me on Instagram you know that journey and that is not what I eat but it's a tradition for us that every year this is the halfway part between my house and our lake house and we have to stop at this McDonald's and it's a tradition and it's bad luck if we don't do it so we do that and we don't necessarily have to eat there we just have to stop there most likely I use the restroom because it's the halfway point so I just wanted to add that here because it's just like a personal thing with me and my husband and when I showed him this insert he giggled when he saw the McDonald's because he knew <laughs> okay one of my favorite places to eat at the lake is Backwater Jack's yay I love this place and I have this stamp here it is from the sweet stamp shop and I believe I have that somewhere it is right here totally love this it is the foodie collection and for a foodie like myself I needed to have it it's right there and I gave this place a five out of five stars because it is wonderful I love it they have our favorite drinks and they have my favorite side dish which is fried potato salad which I'm totally obsessed with and I went about this in so many different ways and I finally came up with something that I like. I wanted to list the restaurant, possibly show a picture of some of our favorites from that restaurant and then what I'm going to do is each year I'm going to stamp the date that we visited it. So this year we visited June 11th of 2015. Next year we're going to go definitely back to Jack Backwater Jacks. It's like my first stop when we get to our lake house and I will stamp that date here and then the year after and the year after and the year after and I think it would just be really fun to see which times we went to visit Backwater Jacks, which will probably be every year because I love them. And again, guys, I said fried potato salad. Yeah, it's amazing. Totally amazing. Okay, the next favorite place we go to is On The Rise Bakery. Oh my God, I can't say enough about this place. They have a awesome lobster pot pie that just makes my mouth water. And I love their blue crab um, eggs benedict. So totally love this place and we went there on June 10th and I gave this place also a five out of five stars. So that is our next location. Then we're going to go on to Half Sauced, also a great place, which is barbecue 
We love it. I gave it a five out of five and I always order the same thing, which is the burnt end sandwiches, the baked beans and the French fries every time I go. So I figured I would include that picture and we went there on the 12th. And again, I'm going to do the same thing each time we visit. I'm going to stamp the date, and if there's some kind of fun memory or something that I want to record, I will write it in next to the date. Okay, let's move on to the next one. The next one was actually in Branson, and oh my god, I totally love this place. We had never went there before. It's called Waxy O'Shea's. It is an Irish pub, and oh god, if I could have given this place 50 stars, I would have because it was delicious. They had our favorite, which is Scott eggs oh my god if you've never had scotch eggs definitely track down a place where you can get them because they are awesome and then we also had the um sausage the bangers and mash which is sausage and mashed potatoes also another awesome awesome dish so wanted to record that then on to our next place that we love to go to it's called heroes and I just decorated it with some washi and other things that I had on hand. This received a five out of five stars too. We went there on the 13th. I love Heroes. What I like about this restaurant is it's called Heroes for a reason. Anybody that's in the military, serves on the police department, serves on the fire department, and get this guy's is a teacher gets a 10% discount every time they eat there. And I totally love that. So basically they cater to heroes. If you can't love a place like that, I don't know, but their food is awesome. I love it. Okay, the next place we went to was Little Rizzo's, which was an Italian place. Now this one only got three stars because it was our first time going there or my first time going there and I was not a fan. A little bit of a combination of bad service, um, very bad service, <laughs> and the food wasn't really that good to me and I'm Italian so I know these things and I had this pasta dish and it just didn't satisfy my pasta need. It was not flavorful in the right way. So unfortunately they only got three out of five stars. We visited them on the 7th. I am going to go back again next year and give them a second chance. We will see. One of the main problems is the server. And I mean, it wasn't just 100% the server's problem. It was my husband as well. He took our credit card. He went and rang it through. He brought back our check. We were busy. We were drinking wine. We were on vacation. We were kind of like late at night. My husband signed the receipt, put the tip on, and we left. And the waiter never gave us our card back. Yes, it's our fault because we walked out without realizing he hadn't given us back, but I don't think that's ever happened to me in a restaurant before. So the, the guy was like totally clueless. So anyway, we'll give him another chance next year. We'll give it a shot. Uh, the other place that was new to us was the Keter Center in Branson, Missouri. Oh my God, this place was amazing. If I could have given it 35 stars, I would have. <laughs> we went there on the 6th and what I like about this is it's at College of the Ozarks and it's all culinary students from the college that cook your meals and oh my god the food was delicious. So if you're ever in Branson, Missouri, I would highly recommend the Keter Center. Okay, we're going to move on. This one here was also in Branson, Missouri. It was Texas Land and Cattle. It was our first time going there. I gave it a five out of five stars as well. The food was delicious. I had crab cakes, which is my favorite, and they were quite delicious. So they got a good review as well. And then the last place was Tucker Shuckers. <laughs> we went there kind of later in the evening for oysters and beers. Uh, the food was excellent, but the reason why I gave them four stars, and this is just my, in my opinion, they were so super expensive. I think I paid $25 for these oysters. Totally ridiculous. Everywhere else, they were like a buck a piece. So for a dozen, it would have been $12. I paid almost twice that for these. And granted, they were good, but they weren't that good. <laughs> and we went there on the 9th. And I'm going to give them a second chance next year. And this is a brand new location or a brand new restaurant this year at the, at the lake. So I was really happy about that. And then we have plenty of 
open room. I saw two restaurants being built when we went this year in June. So next year they will be added to these two pages because I'm wanting to try them. And then I also saw two more restaurants that I wanted to try while I am, um, when we go back next year. So they'll be added as well. So each year when we go, I will be adding our food adventures. And this can be used for anything, guys. It doesn't have to just be on vacation. Make an insert with all your favorite places that you like to go out to eat. Uh, put a couple of pictures in there. I used my selfie and my uh, Popo printer that I purchased on Amazon to take the pictures and print them out. You can travel with these small printers when you're on vacation and just make an insert of your favorite food stops. It's just fun because what you like this year may not be what you like next year. Next year, they may get better stars from me. I don't know. Next year, they may drop to two stars. We'll see. <laughs> so I just thought it was a fun idea. Um, I hope you guys like this. I hope it wasn't too long. I did rattle on for a while. Sorry about that. So those are the two inserts that are in my nautical uh, Foxy Fix. And I really, really, really love it. So this book will be coming with me or this traveler's notebook will be coming with me each year. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you definitely should because I post on there all the time. I'll link that below. And if you have any questions, just leave them below. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.